Hi, I want to show you how quickly and easily you can write a complete Navistoke solver in just 12 lines of MATLAB code. The primary idea when designing our quicker SIM CFD toolbox for MATLAB was to prepare an extremely flexible and easy to learn CFD environment with top quality functions that will let you do in MATLAB almost everything with CFD that you imagine. All right, so let's start from scratch and let's call it, uh, let's save that as our cylinder show because what we want to simulate in our um, example is we want to simulate the flow around the circular cylinder so the flow will be coming here and flowing around that and we want to solve a Navier-Stokes problem but you will see how easy it is to change the geometry at every moment. So at the beginning and every CFD code you need to import the mesh so let's simply write PET, which is the usual format of the mesh as usually used in MATLAB in the partial differential equation toolbox. Uh, but you have to remember you do not need to have this toolbox to run all our simulations. Import mesh Gmesh from the mesh from the Gmesh generator. Uh, we've got a mesh which we have prepared cylinder MSH. Uh, then we need to convert it to second order mesh because it is the order of the mesh on which we want to do um, uh, fluid flow simulation. Uh, and number of velocity nodes, we will need it later, number of pressure nodes and special indices which give us very, very easy access to uh, horizontal velocity, vertical velocity and pressure in the solution vector. Uh, so let's convert mesh to second order, uh, basically at mesh PET. Uh, we need to define the fluid. So let's write kinematic viscosity is 0 0.01. Uh, and as usually in CFD software, we need to init our solution, start with some kind of vector. So let's write U will be our solution vector. Init solution. Um, PT denotes the mesh, and let's say we want to start with the velocity, which is now 1, 0, and the pressure value, which is 0 everywhere. Uh, right now we need to write a special loop because we will need to, um, to solve for the non-linearity non in the Navier-Stokes equations. Uh, so we write a very, very simple loop. There are much better ways to do it in our toolbox, uh, but at the current stage we want to keep it as simple as possible. So we want to assemble our Navier-Stokes matrix, uh, Navier-Stokes matrix and the right hand side. So let's just write assemble Navier-Stokes matrix 2D, basically at our mesh PET kinematic viscosity, we need to specify horizontal velocities, so it's u, and here we use our indices, indices in u, this tells to use u velocity, and let's write indices in v, this gives us our v velocity, so the y, the vertical velocity, and we do not want to have any stabilization in this very simple uh, example. Now we need to specify boundary conditions. So we will be modifying our matrix and the right hand side. And let's, let's write impose CFD boundary conditions in 2D at PET Navier-Stokes matrix right hand side vector and let's look at our geometry. So we want to have inlet here. This is number 10, line number 10, so let's write it here, 10, we want to have inlet, so let's just type inlet, and we want at the inlet the x velocity to be equal to 1, and the <coughs> vertical velocity to be equal to 0. <coughs> we close that, <coughs> and we need to specify two other boundary conditions, so let's just copy that. And we want to have, let's say we want to have 
slip boundary condition on this channel walls. This are 12, and we want to have wall boundary, boundary condition on this circle walls. So let's write, so as I said, 12, we wanted to have slip boundary condition, so we are writing slip along X, and we do not need to add anything more here. And on the cylinder walls, which were denoted by number 13, we want to have wall. All right, so that's it. Let's close our loop and display the solution. Display solution in 2D, P, T, our so solution vector, or of course, we need to solve our system. So let's write U equals Navier-Stokes matrix, um, and right hand side vector. And here we have U, and we want to give a title to our vector, to our plot, so X velocity. And let's run it in MATLAB. And after a while, you get this very, very nice uh, solution with the horizontal velocity. And if you'd like to say that you've got a channel with the walls here, not the slip boundary condition, what you need to do is after you have written a very generic CFD solver, you simply say, all right, I don't want to have slip along X, I want to have wall. So let's say wall, let's run this again, and you see that right now you have walls here. That's it. Thank you very much.